everyone, it's me Hatsy and I'm back with part 18 of the pomegranates. So, in the first part you would have seen a little flashback there of Jessica Mortray's past. So that isn't currently happening, that was the reason why she left the house. It's because her mum believed in vampires, she got incredibly obsessed over the idea. What a fool. <laughs> what an absolute fool. No, I mean, you would have seen a few hints in there from characters that I may have used in another series. Maybe got the references, maybe didn't. I don't know. Anyway, this is the restaurant. Why are people sat at the study desk? No, absolutely not happening. <laughs> that is terrible. Why, why are people doing that? No, I'd rather delete the whole computer than have them sat there. So apologies if anyone has downloaded this build and it's been a really uncomfortable build to use. For that reason, just delete it. Um, but Pilar's got to get her needs up. She's pretty tense. She's got low fun, but she's still got to keep this whispering. Oh, it's only got two stars and we're on red. That is not good. Do we even have staff working here? I can't even remember. Oh, there's... Oh, okay. We've got Courtney. How amazing is this? So Jane's best friend or like one of Jane's best friends works here. We also have another girl. It's just everybody in this restaurant <laughs> just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at them. Uh, but what we have to do though, we have to get the needs up. So Pilar's going to use the bathroom down here. We have some special bathrooms. What's Scarlett doing? What is Scarlett doing? She's looking really mischievous. I think it's probably because her birthday's coming up. She's actually going to age up in the next part. I decided to delay it one more part because something very, very special is going to be happening for part 19. And it's really going to be the difference between Scarlett being a child and being a mature adult. Like, she's going to make some massive decisions in the next part. So, it's going to be mainly focused around that. Now, this is a little bit awkward. Maybe we should just put the balls up there. Um, let's see. So, I think that Jane's fine, like, for moodlets and stuff. Well, maybe she would invite Miles over. Oh, Angel! Do you remember him, this guy? No, Arthur Angel. So this person was absolutely obsessed with PR. Like, that's how I remember it. I mean, it's so long ago that I've probably forgotten everything that's happened. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I do tend to exaggerate things. I mean, after some time has passed for a while, I do forget things that have happened. So yeah, I may just be completely exaggerating that. Anyway, business is running fantastically. Pilar does still have to get that fun up though. Maybe she can play with the toys with Scarlett. Would that even get an adult's fun up? I'm not even sure. That's a fantastic hat though. Let's just admire that for a second. I don't even know where that's from. Okay, well, what can we do that's fun in the restaurant? 10 bar practice making drinks? Yeah, maybe she would. So I think that in this part as well, we have some stuff happening with um, Dylan. He's actually gonna come here. So bring Dylan Sanders here. I don't know when he has work though. Well, that is a problem. Oh, two days. I swear he never works. Uh, but Dylan's going to ask Pilar some very interesting things in this part. To be very specific with you, the interesting thing is that he's going to be asking Pilar to marry him. So it's been going on a very long time. Oh, twins. <laughs> um, but you know, he really, really wants to marry Pilar. He's wanted to for a very long time and now is his chance. Basically, Pilar's married. <laughs> so I don't think that Dylan would really register the fact that he actually can't marry her yet, but she could still potentially say yes for the future and they just have to see what happens. But yeah, it's not looking, it's not looking good for Dylan. We just have to see what Pilar says, but not setting you up for like fireworks and stuff because Pilar's married. Like she's got to get rid of this situation with her husband before she starts anything new. And of course she loves Dylan. She really wants to be with Dylan, but her husband is sort of in the way at the moment. And we don't really know if he's going to agree to divorce her or anything like that. Anyway, some romance is going on in the restaurant. We'll just look at this for a match. Now I happen to have the most elderly people in my game that's possible. I'm not even joking. Every single townie is elderly, they look like this. Pretty specific, but they have to be wearing some kind of woolly jumper. They have to have gray hair and they have to be a pensioner. That is what I get. I don't get any young people, I don't get any teenagers or anything like that. No, I just, I get that. And that is what my game looks like. Okay, so I've just turned game autonomy back on. That was the problem there. That is why Dylan is just acting like a lemon outside the house, he looks ridiculous. Jane is going through a really difficult time in her life at the moment because 
of this whole situation with Tommy cheating um, on her with her very good friend. So hopefully, Miles is here to cheer up. I don't really know what he's doing on Stazam. He's probably going to go fishing. Who's going over to that? Oh, you can actually use these canvases. Now, I'm pretty sure that this wasn't explained properly in the first episode. I did not know there were street canvases until now. That is just something I've recently found out. Okay, so he's going topless. Okay, he's not going topless. What even happened there? I thought he took off his top and then he got changed. Really weird. Maybe he was trying to go for a jog or something. Anyway, she's going to vent to him because he is the perfect friend to vent to. He really is. He's been there for her the whole time that she has been really struggling with recent events. Like, how how is this girl going to cope? Oh, Scarlet as well. Oh, Scarlet. I always forget about Scarlet. Oh, no, she's actually got to go to school. So, like, the one time that I do want to do something fun with Scarlet, she has to go. She actually has to go to school. Well, maybe later. It's really strange how all PR's ex-lovers, like Antonio, because she had a thing with him, it was unconfirmed, but out of nowhere, she just got a love relationship with him in her friendship meters. So, yeah, this guy is just, like, turned up to the restaurant. He's not happy. He's absolutely not happy. He's just seen Pilar doing really well with Dylan. He's angry. He's mad. He's going to go back there later and cause some havoc. No, he's actually not. He's, he's doing nothing. He's just walking home. Is he giving... What is he actually giving more Timber a lap dance? This looks really dodgy. What is happening over here? Oh, my gosh. I am a little bit frightened right now. I am disgusted right now at Dylan, to be quite frank with everyone. I mean, just look at this. Pilar's over here, working her socks off. She's got a restaurant to run, and she has to put up with that mess. Okay, well, what we are going to do is we're going to get Pilar to bed. Oh, my gosh. These needs go down so quickly. I swear, my needs go down faster than anybody else's that play The Sims. I watch other Let's Plays. This, this happens to nobody. I swear, it's me. I have it on, like super extremely hard mode or something i don't know okay oh jane's also got to go to school do we really have to do this thing we have three days of vacation available and we haven't used any of it that's so annoying i hope that it does drag on though because when she's going to be a teenager i mean it would be great uh, what can we do around the restaurant oh we can greet people of course so we could we could welcome him <laughs> invite him to dance well I mean, Dylan definitely would be doing that, wouldn't he? Because Dylan loves to dance. Your simoleons are no good here. The Enjoy the complimentary food. What? You gave them free food? Dylan, that is not how a business runs. <laughs> how can you run a business like that? I know that he's trying to be really kind and stuff. That's not even for him to give away. I'm pretty sure it's Pilar's. Hey, Dylan, we'd love to have you join the fakes. What do you think? No. I'm not interested. Absolutely not. That's the weirdest conversation ever. Let's just forget that ever happened, Courtney. Pretty sure that Courtney has a crush on Dylan. Um, or she's just trying to get in his good books because she works for the family now. That would make so much sense. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Pilar out of bed again because I'm pretty sure that Dylan has a very, very important question to ask her. So Pilar has just woken up. She was asleep for a really long time and it felt like it, but apparently she's still not satisfied. Like after all that sleep was last 6, 30 p.m. It's been forever. It's been absolutely forever. But anyway, she's going to go in the shower because um, I just, I well, put one in whilst I was waiting <laughs> and I wanted to get a needs up. But unfortunately from the little machinima part, we could see that she did reject Dylan and that is because she has or she feels like she has responsibilities to her husband at the moment which is really sad um she sort of does in a way because she is married but he's been away for a really long time so surely Pilar should be able to do what she likes or like he's been away for four years and she has sort of moved on I don't know let me know what you think in the comments below what should Pilar do in this situation 
but she really really wants to marry Dylan and she would have loved to have said yes but she just unfortunately can't right now it's also a really bad time for her and her children to be going through something like this so sometimes it's best just to say not right now that's what she did I honestly had no idea that you could cook on these if you had a cooking skill wow that makes my life so much easier because I've been putting extra things into kitchens like this stuff over here just because I'm afraid that the sims can't actually use the other stuff well that has just saved me a ton of work great well Pilar's gonna cook anyway because she's she's just miserable today Dylan is obviously trying to talk to her again she was not having like any of this before but at least he's feeling confident at least he's not like embarrassed or anything um I would be a little bit but no, I'm happy, it's great, and I think that he would know that the reason isn't him necessarily, it's more the fact that it's her husband. At the moment, it's just really nice to see these sisters actually bonding because they hardly ever spend time together, and when they do, it often involves Jessica, who is at home right now, feeling like a little bit of a coward because she feels like she doesn't have anywhere to go, even though she clearly does have a family and she could potentially go back there maybe her mum doesn't know where she is right now and maybe if her mum knew where she was she would come and get her daughter and come and sort things out but jessica feels like this is the only place that she's got to go so with pilar the pomegranate family um it's really nice for pilar to of course let jessica in to the family and uh treat her like she's the daughter and uh, maybe these two can sort things out they just look so cute together i really hope they can We'll probably see more in the machinimas because I sort of know what's going to happen. <laughs> I do. I've actually planned the ending and I really hope you're all going to like it. It's not going to happen, of course, until part 20. This is on part 18, but just letting you know now, it's going to be dramatic. It's going to go with like a big bang sort of thing and I'm excited to show you what will happen. Anyway, I don't know what Scarlett's doing. She needs to go to bed as well though. Now, unfortunately, I only put in a few beds okay one bed one bed <laughs> she's gonna go home then okay yeah scarlet's gonna go back to the house at like 1 a.m well maybe jane will go back with her then and have like a really awkward time with jessica because i didn't really want to involve jessica in this part she's gonna be more active in the next one but anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this part here i'd love to know what you thought of it in the comments below and i will speak to you all sometime soon